Welcome back to Matthew 1. In this lesson, we will discuss integers. When we say integers, either be negative, positive, or zero. Zero is neither positive nor negative. Ibig sabihin, si zero, neutral lang siya. Hindi siya positive, hindi rin siya negative. Integers can be represented on a number line, which can help us understand the value of the integer. Positive integers are to the right of zero on the number line. Ibig sabihin, makikita natin lahat ng positive integers dun sa kanan ng zero doon sa number line. Are valued greater than zero. The sign for a positive integer is plus. While negative integers are to the left of zero on the number line. Doon naman natin makikita ang negative integers sa kaliwa ng zero. Are valued less than zero. The sign for a negative integer is minus. So as we can see on our figure, we have number line. So sa number line, it is consists of positive, negative integers, and zero. So again, kapag sinabi natin negative integers are valued less than zero and are always to the left of zero. So as long as na lumalayo siya sa zero, mas bumababa ang value ng integers natin or negative integers. Next is the positive integers are valued greater than zero and are always to the right of zero. Dito naman, habang lumalayo sa zero, mas lalong lumalaki ang value ng integers o ang number. While zero is neither positive or negative. Neutral siya between positive and negative integers. Integers can also be used in real-life situation. For example, we have here a room temperature. So as we observe, we have 43 degree Celsius. So over siya dun sa 40 degree Celsius. So the thermometer indicates a temperature of 43 degree Celsius. And it shows positive because it is greater than zero. So when it gets very cold, the temperature drops below zero. So agay nung makikita natin sa figure. The thermometer indicates a temperature of negative 20 degrees Celsius. It shows negative because it is less than zero. Okay, so beside from the room temperature, so we have gain of 20 pesos can be denoted by positive 20. So, kung makikita natin, walang sign na positive or plus doon sa 20. So, not necessarily palaging nakasulat yung plus sign. Understood na positive siya. Next, loss of 20 pesos can be denoted by negative 20. So, mapapansin natin, this is negative because loss indicates negative. Okay? Next, going up 5 floors is considered as positive 5 kasi going up is positive. And then, going down 5 floors is considered as negative because going down indicates negative. And the opposite of positive 4 is negative 4. And the opposite of negative 9 is positive 9. Or the additive inverse of positive 4 is negative 4. And the additive inverse of negative 9 is positive 9. So maliwanag yung opposite ng positive ay negative. So kapag pinakuha sa atin ay negative 5, ang opposite niyan ay positive 5. Kapag Positive 10, ang opposite ay negative 10. Let's try to answer this. Choose the correct opposite of the following inside the box. So, ang pagpipilian ay less, long, interest, many, forward, deposit, below, empty, return, rising, and interesting. So, first, 
Let us get the opposite of above. Okay, so that is below. How about number two, more? Of course, less. Three, withdraw. Of course, that is deposit. And four, the opposite of backward is forward. How about falling? Number five, rising. Number six is few. The opposite is many. How about discount? Interest. And then full? Okay, empty. Nine is long. And then the opposite of borrow is return. Okay, how about this one? Write the integer or integers described. So using number line, first, get the three units to the right of zero. So, tignan si zero, magmamove tayo ng three units to the right. So, one, two, three. So, number one is three. Next two, seven units to the right of negative two. Tignan yung negative two. So, magmamove tayo ng seven units to the right. So, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 2 is positive 5. Next, 3. 3 units to the left of negative 6. So, tignan ng negative 6, move tayo ng 3 units to the left. Negative 7, negative 8, negative 9. 4. 4 units to the left of 0. So, it starts sa 0, magmove tayo or tignan yung 0, magmove tayo to the left ng 4. So, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And 5, the largest negative integer, mas malapit sa 0, mas malaki. Mas malayo sa 0, mas mababa ang value. So, the largest is negative 1. Let's move on to the comparing and ordering integers. The order of the integers on the number line tells us which number has a greater value. So using number line, ma-identify natin kung ano yung malaking value at saka maliit na value ng integers. Okay? So binanggit kanina na negative integers Habang lumalayo sa 0, mas lumiliit ang value. While positive integers, habang lumalaki o lumalayo doon sa 0, mas lumalaki ang value. Comparing integers, we have the symbols greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, equal to, and not equal to. So yan lahat ang gagamitin natin sa comparing integers. Let us apply. First, compare the following integers. Right, greater than, less than, or equal. So, kapag ginagamit natin ng greater than at less than, o kapag nagko-compare tayo ng integers, kakainin lang natin palagi yung mas malaking number. Okay? So, first, 25 and 13. Okay, so what is the symbol? Okay, 25 is greater than 13. Next, 2, negative 80, positive 80. Okay, so ang kakainin natin si positive 80. So therefore, negative 80 is less than 80. Next, number 3, negative 15, negative 13, which is greater. Okay, sabi natin, mas malaki ang negative numbers, mas maliit ang value. So, ang kakainin ay negative 13. So, negative 15 is less than to negative 13. 4, 8 and 8. Okay, so positive 8, positive 8. Of course, they are equal. How about 5? 5 plus 2 and then 11. So, 5 plus 2 is 7. 7, then the other one is 11. So, i-compare natin kay 11. 
Kainin si 11, that is less than. So, 7 is less than 2, 11. 6, 9 compared to negative 14. So, syempre, mas malaki pa rin ang positive number. So, positive 9 is greater than 2, negative 14. Okay, next. Arrange the integers in increasing and decreasing order or vice versa. So, kapag sinabing increasing, pataas. Decreasing, pababa. Okay? First given, negative 7, negative 5, positive 5, negative 4, positive 3, negative 2. Increasing order muna tayo. Okay? So, mauuna muna lahat ng mabababa, pataas. So, ang pinakamababa ay negative 7, negative 5, next is negative 4, negative 2, negative 3, and the highest is oh, positive 3, the highest is positive 5. Again, increasing order, negative 7, negative 5, negative 4, negative 2, positive 3, and positive 5. So, ang decreasing order, kabaliktaran lang. Mauuna yung malaki, pababa. So, 5, 3, negative 2, negative 4, negative 5, negative 7. Next, 2. Negative 5, positive 20, negative 31, positive 6, 0, positive 54, and negative 1. So, increasing order tayo, simula sa pinakamababa, pataas. So, ang mauuna ay... Negative 31. Next is negative 5. Negative 1. 0. Positive 6. Positive 20. Positive 54. Okay. So, decreasing order. Kabalik tara naman. So, 54. 20. 6. 0. Negative 1. Negative 5. And negative 31. 